up guys good morning to you just waking up getting everybody getting everybody fed what are you doing Roddy what are you doing so we're just getting started over here today just woke up got to take care of the animals got to let the sheave out fed the cats fed the bird everybody's happy today we're gonna do a really fun video I'm really excited about it have another day off I've been really excited lately about uh, being able to film for you guys more that's really cool I'm having a blast doing that um, and I'm opening up a new tattoo shop with my little brother in Boca it's gonna be awesome we got a new name picked out that I can't tell you yet uh, we're getting everything in the works for that. We're finding a new location. We're looking at a couple different spots. Hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have that ready. It's gonna be awesome. But today, we are going to be going over to Underground. Now, Underground, if you guys didn't know, I used to work at Underground for 10 years before I tattooed. Ryan Gitman, the owner, is like my stepdad, pretty much. Me and my brother are still super close with them and their family so today i'm gonna go back over there i was over there yesterday i took my nephew i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram or anything but if you do you would know that yesterday i took my nephew there uh brian has a bunch of silcata tortoises outside he's got seven or eight of them we go over there bring my nephew feed the tortoises he loves it it's a reptile farm also they got some sick animals in last week like some really really cool one-of-a-kind stuff that you don't see very often so I'm gonna go there I'm gonna do a video about all that stuff today which is gonna be really fun and cool and also you know I've been looking for a baby croc monitor I didn't get a baby croc monitor but I found something found these little guys rather that I think I might get one so I'm gonna show you guys maybe we're gonna pick one out and I'm gonna bring a new baby animal home today I'm not gonna tell you what it is that you guys can use your imagination to figure it out so back to what I was doing I gotta go back inside I gotta take care of a couple things I gotta go gotta go hang out with the bird a little bit she's very needy so let's go do this Piercings, you little brat. She got a pedicure yesterday. Get off of there. So her nails are nice and nice and smooth now. And your beak is smooth. I know. I know. This is my real this is my babe right here. This is the main. This is my main girl. You're my main girl. I know, I just gotta give you some love. I don't put you in the videos enough as much anymore. I need to do a video with her soon. So, in the comments below, give me some ideas for videos for her. Training videos, flight videos, what do you guys wanna see? Let me know, all right? Let's go play with some more animals though. I gotta get dressed, let's get out of here. You're having a popsicle for breakfast? Of course, Kayla's giving it to you. The girl who has cookie dough and Red Bull in the morning. Silly Kayla. <laughs> ready? Hey, you gonna go to the farm today with us? No. Right? You ready to go to the farm? No. No? Mm -hmm. You are, we were at the farm yesterday. We're going back today. Your tattoo's all healed up? Yeah. Let me see that thing. Right, guys we are here we made it 
at the farm underground reptiles farm all right ryan has a retail store in deerfield he also has his farm he lives next to it he's got his big house next door and he's got the farm that he just built within this last year too we're at the farm you ready to see the animals mm -hmm. yeah no i want to see the turtles you want to see the turtles okay and everybody also this is my brother i've introduced him in other videos before i'm going to put his link boop, right here at the bottom Make sure you go give him a follow. Go look at his tattoo work and keep track of that stuff with him. Uh, Tyler Nolan? What's up? So your name is Tyler Nolan? Yeah. So anyways, my brother, give him a follow. He's awesome. We're opening up our new shop together soon. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be badass. Can't wait for that. The merch that we're gonna have at this new place is gonna be so sick. So let's go in here and See like some cool animals. Tyler's here to film, man. Here, what you got? Geckos and stuff over here. Press the geckos. This is cool. This is a cold cool lychee gecko. Lychee gecko. Dude, this thing's freaking on. This is just a baby. Oh yeah, this thing will really get cool. like that big. Oh, it looks like a crested. Yep. And they have the weirdest sound when they get big. They sound like a raptor. Really? Yeah, they squeal really loud when they're pissed off. They're so cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, super cool. And they get big. They get like that. Damn, that's and awesome. And they fat. They get really fat. Super cool. They eat the uh, crusty gecko diet. They eat crickets and worms and stuff like that too. But it awesome. just sits there. Yeah, it's awesome. They don't move. They just want to just hang out, man. That's what they do. I want to see that two-headed uh, two turtle. Oh, yeah. Check go to the end. You'll see this that thing part. out. Awesome. So, Ryan picked up this guy the other day let me show you so check out this guy this is a two-headed snapping turtle look at this he's got two heads it's pretty crazy ain't it look at that little guy it's really hard to see in this camera Thing's pretty cool. It's obviously not super impressive right now because he's a tiny little baby, but these get gigantic. It's one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world. Huge. Right now he just looks like a little, just like a little pile of poop. Almost. Looks like they're Chandler would say spicy. That's crazy. Spicy meatball. But yeah. Two-headed turtle. Pretty cool. It's gonna be awesome when he's bigger. It's a good way to get. Did you remember uh, Chris's brother? That is remember, These are Goliath bird eating brothers. spiders. They get huge. Big old crate. Remember this? Oh. Check out these Mata Mata turtles. They got big Mata Matas in right now. These guys are sick. One of my favorite turtles right here. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Look at that. Look how big this guy is. Big turtle. Look at that thing. Yo, Austin, this thing is huge. This thing is huge. Look at the face on this guy. Look at that. It's a Mata Mata turtle, bud. Oh. Look at that. Look! Crazy, right? It's a giant turtle. Look at his head. Let's play with his face. It's got like a happy face. See that? He's smiling cool, all right? the time. All the time. These guys are from South and Central America. Find them in a bunch of different parts of Brazil, Colombia, places like that. They like shallow freshwater canals and streams and stuff. They like to be in wa the water level so where they could put their heads up out of the water and breathe with their little snorkel noses. Look at these little guys. Look how cute that face is. They look like big leaves, right? This thing was in the river with a bunch of leaves. 
you would never even know that he's there. Super stealthy, super camouflaged. They prey on little fish, little birds, anything. Carnivores, really cool guys. They get a little bit bigger than this. Tom Crutchfield used to have one that was almost twice this size, actually. Really cool turtles. Look at that face. Oh, that face is just so precious. Look at you. You're so happy. Awesome. Look at this. Little baby gators. They're so cute. Just be careful. Careful of his face. You don't want to put your fingers by there. You know, I'll jump you. He's not going to bite you. Here, come pet him. Want to come touch him? Come pet his back. Put your back in him in the water. Come, come touch him real quick for me now. See, hi, he's cute. See, look, he's nice. He's just a cute baby gator. Say hi. Hey, little guy. They're awesome. I love little gators. I need to hurry up and get my croc paperwork stuff filled out again so I can get some more of these little guys, set up a little pond in the back for them. Awesome. Gators are some of my favorite. So cool. So, I asked Austin if he had any black throats, and he said he did, but they ended up being white throats. So these are baby white throats. They're so cute. And these are Cape Banded white throats. Um, this is an African monitor. They get a decent size. They don't get as big as black throats, which is why I want a black throat, but they still get a pretty good size. Hey, come here. They're crazy, though. Look at this guy. He's trying to bite me. I ripped my hand off, man. Come here. Come here. Oh, you guys are so crazy. You're so crazy. Can I hold it? They're cute. They bite. He's going to try to bite you. Oh, look, they bite just keep me. jumping and biting. They're so cute, though. Yeah. Look at that little face. He's cute, right? He's going to bite me, I think. No, maybe he'll bite me. So he's like, ah, I'm going to eat your hand. <laughs> right? Can I hold it? He's gonna bite though. You wanna get bit? No. Well then, you can't hold him. He just wants to bite. So yeah, I was gonna get one of these guys, but I don't know what I should do. I really want, I just wanna raise a monitor again so bad. Obviously I've been saying this a million times. I really wanna wait for a croc monitor, but I'm gonna have to wait till the end, or to the middle of next year to find one. So, I could get one of these guys. I don't know what to do. Comment your thoughts. White throat, black throat, croc monitor, or really want a melanistic water monitor. Should be awesome. This is all black dragons. Nerd has babies right now. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. Decisions, decisions. These guys are just so cute. And they get huge. Puppy dog tame. You could train them. They're awesome. I got a good friend of mine. He's got a three year old. She goes and opens up the cage. This lizard's four or five feet long. Lets him out. She feeds him by hand. Puppy dog tame. Awesome. I keep saying puppy dog tame all the time, too. I gotta stop doing that. Because puppies are crazy. So we gotta come up with another slogan to say. You guys are awesome. These are called pancake tortoises. And if you can look, look in here real quick. Look at their shells. Look how flat these things are. They look like they got ran over. Look. Look at that. Flat. Pancake tortoises. That is a real thing right there. All of them. It's not just one. Looks like these things just got ran over by cars. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So flat. Weird. Look at how cute. These guys are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Look at these little skunks. How cute are those little faces? Now these guys, when they're born, they have their scent glands removed so that they can be pets. And they actually make great pets. Skunks, you can litter train. You can train them to do all sorts of things. It's kind of like having a cat. They're so cute. The only thing that sucks about owning skunks is they're nocturnal animals that people don't realize it. 
dogs and cats and stuff, they're normally dire animals. They're awake all day. Skunks sleep all night, and so they're, er, skunks, I'm sorry, sleep all day, so they're awake all night. And not only are they awake all night, but they're nesting animals also. So when you have a pet skunk, they like to go through your stuff and find your socks or your shoes or shirts or whatever it is. They steal all your stuff and they make little burrows and they make little nests in your house with them. Which is cute, but it could be annoying. Your cute little face could get away with anything though. You're so cute. Don't put me. But yeah, you want to feed them, right? Yeah, you want to feed them? All right, well, Hayes wants to go feed the turtle, so we're going to come. We're going to see what we got over here. All right, let's get some lettuce. Here, Hayes, come here. You hold that. I'm gonna bring some too. Hold that one, okay? Hold that. You wanna give, you wanna give Daddy one too? Yeah. Here, Chase. Get one more for me. That lettuce. Then let's go feed these hungry, hungry tortoises. All right, so here at the underground farm, inside up here, below here is where all the overstock is, all the animals. Upstairs is where they have all the retail stuff where everybody works on the website and the and wholesale things and that sort of thing. Back here, there's uh, Russian tortoise pens. There's a bunch of box turtle, box turtle pens, stuff like that. Over here, there's regular iguanas. He's got a chicken coop. All these are rhino iguanas. He breeds a bunch of rhinos. On the other side of the rhinos, you can see, boom, other side. I'm gonna do a little aerial shot for you guys so you can see. On the other, shot, uh, other side of the rhinos are all the tegus, so he breeds a bunch of different kinds of red tegus, blue albinos, like all sorts of crazy stuff. Over here are blue tongue skinks, okay? Breeds a bunch of different kinds of blue tongues. So then, all those animals, like sunlight, they have hide boxes and stuff like that, but it stays super, stays a lot hotter over here. And then the sulcata tortoises, if you can see, Ryan has all these trees and stuff which provide ample shade for these guys so they don't bake in the sun all day. The tortoises. Now these are sulcata tortoises, spurthi tortoises. You find them in every pet store down here. Hundreds of them, like under, Ryan's got a couple hundred babies inside. Super easy to breed, very easy to take care of. They get big, they're super friendly, they're cute. Let's go feed them. Let's get them all over here, come on. Say come on turtles, let's go. Come on, say come on. Come on. Come on, I know you guys are hungry. Look at that. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Wow, you're so funny. Here, get them over here. Get them all over here. Come on. Let's go guys. Let us party. Look how cool these guys are. Just hanging out, eating some food. They all come over. Ryan's got seven of them in this pen. Um, I think four of them are females, so it's pretty good ratio. Hi guys. I drew on the other ones. You drew on them? I drew on the other ones. I gave them those ones tattoos. You gave them some tats? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Come on, guys. Come on. Come eat some food. It's time to lunch time. Yeah, it's lunch. Are you? Very hungry. Are you, are you hungry? Want glass? You gonna go see Rex? Where is Rex? Where is Rex? I think Rex is this cage right here. This is Rex's cage. Rex and his girlfriend. Where is he? Where is Rex at? There he is. He's in here. Yeah, so let me let me get in here and let me set it up so that Rex's girlfriend doesn't doesn't try to get you. Cause she's not very nice. Ugh. So this is Rex. This is Ryan's rhino iguana. This iguana is over 30 years old, Ryan's had it. 
long, long, long time ago. I worked for Ryan for 10 years, okay? And I haven't worked for Ryan in about 10 years. Got ants on me, but yeah, what I was saying was, Ryan has had this rhino iguana forever. I worked for Ryan almost 10 years ago. I worked for him for 10 years. He's had it the whole time. Easily, this, this is probably like a 35, 40 year old lizard. Crazy, right? And he's awesome, he's such a sweet boy. When I worked for Ryan, Ryan had another house like this in Parkland where he had his reptile Hello? farm at. Come here, come touch him, he's nice. Come on. Go touch him. Come say hi to Rex. It's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect you from her. She's not gonna look at, oh. she's like, Rex's girlfriend's like, yo, you're in my cage, man. That's where I lay my eggs, get out of here. So come here, buddy. Ace, come on, come right over here. She's just gonna go up there. Yeah, I'll keep you safe. She'll be fine. Come on, come right here. His girlfriend won't do nothing to you. Say hi, Rex. Hi, Rex. Hi, bud. Hey, bud. He's so cool, right? Okay. So when I worked for Ryan, we used to, it was part of my job and Austin's job on Thursdays. I used to, instead of working at the retail store, I used to come to Ryan's house on Thursdays and take care of all of these cages in the backyard. So it was my job to feed all the tegus, feed all these guys, but we would let, Austin and I, we would let Rex, we would just open up his cage and Rex would just follow us around the whole yard. As Everywhere we would go, we would just walk around doing all of our chores and changing out waters and feeding everything and cleaning cages. Rex would walk behind us the whole time and just follow us everywhere. Such a cool animal. And it's a common misconception with reptiles. People say they don't have personalities and they don't have traits and stuff like that. They do. This guy is full of personality. I've known him for, I've known this particular lizard since I was 13 years old, 12 years old, okay? I'm 31. I've known this lizard for a long time. He's always been awesome. He's always been a sweetheart like this. Very good. And it's common with rhino iguanas too, or iguanas in general. Raising iguanas, they're very smart animals and they can be trained and they can be very sweet and have personalities. So that's why I get so upset with people when just somebody tagged me in a post yesterday, some some jerk off on YouTube, some some dude is going around shooting shooting iguanas in the heads with bow and arrows. They're bow hunting. Yeah, I love bow hunting. Bow hunting is cool with fish. But iguanas, man, there's just there's ways to go about it, man. And I'm not okay with people killing these guys right now. I hate it. They're awesome. Iguanas are such cool animals. They're so smart. Same thing with alligators. I don't I don't do the whole alligator poaching. I don't do the whole tags. I do not condone that at all. I'm I love gators. I would never kill one. Alright, Rexy. We're gonna go. What do you want to see next, Hayes? Check these guys out. Panda dragons. These guys are awesome. I'd open up the cage and take them out, but they're really fast and they're really expensive and I don't feel like losing them. So they are gonna stay right in their cage. But look at how awesome this lizard is. Look at this. Black and white. How cool is that? Such a dope looking lizard. Funny. It'll be funny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Hayes wants to see the chickens. So I guess we're gonna see the chickens. You gotta, you gotta like go in there so they don't get out. You gotta go in there fast, okay? So we gotta open up, I'm gonna open up the door and you gotta go in there real quick, okay? Chicken coop! Hey guys. Look at all the chickens, Hayes. Look at these guys. I wish I could have chickens at my house. That'd be awesome. My neighbors, would, my neighbors would freak out even more than they already do. That's my favorite one. That's Arlie's chicken right there. Look at this little guy. Would you relax? Look. Look at the hairdo on this thing. Look at you. You're a crazy looking chicken. Look at this thing. Crazy. Look at the hairdo on this guy. You got a crazy hairdo, man. Oh, wow. There's a cute 
one. What you got there? What is that? A black one. Oh, that's the black. Is that what? Is that for dinner? Mm-hmm. Are we gonna eat that chicken for dinner? Mm-hmm. No. No. That's a pet chicken. I don't want to eat you, silly. No. Give it a kiss. Give it a kiss and put him down. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, sweet boy. So this is the venomous room now at Underground. At the farm, rather. So, I don't know if anybody is familiar with Underground at all from living down here. I know a lot of people that are subscribers live down here and they know of Underground. Their retail store is on Hillsborough and Powerline in Deerfield Beach over by my house. My house is at Boca, Deerfield's very close. They used to have the Venomous at the retail store and it was like an attraction, you know, people were like, oh hell yeah, let's go to the retail store, let's see. You know, it was an attraction at the retail store. People were like, oh cool, Venomous Snake's on display there. They go there, it was an attraction that they had. People would literally go there. I remember being a little kid before I started working there. I wanted to go to Underground to see the Venomous section, right? Same. <laughs> so, FWC just changed the laws on that recently. So now in order to have Venomous in your facility, they have to be in their own escape proof room which is why I moved my snakes into my new room, obviously, the new escape proof room, my new snake room, which is awesome. But they had to do that at the retail store too. So they would either have to set up something where they had like a, a vision wall with all the snakes behind it at the retail store, or they have to move it all to the farm and then nobody gets to see it. So for now, until they build that, they're all here at the farm. Um, they got some cool stuff. Uh, it's bamboo pit vipers, pretty cool Chinese bamboo pit vipers. Look, let's look at these little guys. Those guys are pretty cool. They get a decent size. Whoa. Um, other various vipers. Let's get out of this room. Sandra. Gotta get the get the two year old out of here. So, anyways. But yeah, just a bunch of various vipers, flat nose pit vipers. They got a bunch of baby puff adders. I have those at the house. This black and white spinning cobra right here, this one, this used to be my snake. Uh, I raised her from a baby and then I gave her to Ryan a few years ago. He still has her. She's been producing eggs for a few years now. She's a great breeder. This is the male. They have a gaboon and a puff adder down here together. They're trying to breed them. They've been trying to do it for a few years. We still haven't had any success rate with it. So it's a puffoon or a puff or whatever the hell you want to call it, whatever. But yeah, still haven't done it. And then there's all these incubators. So they do the incubation in here also. So this is the incubation slash venomous room at underground. Pretty cool. I secretly like mine better though, so. All right, so that is it, guys. I just wanted to do a little tour for you guys, show you a bunch of cool animals, of course. The main reason of the main purpose for this video was to get a new monitor, possibly. I was just thinking about it. I really want a black throat or a croc monitor. So I'm going to wait until I find either or. And I have to make sure it is exactly what I want because I'm gonna have this animal for a long time. So you gotta always make sure you do your research and make sure that you're getting exactly what you want because you're gonna be stuck with it. You don't have to get an animal and then figure out it's not the right one for you and you have to rehome it or get rid of it. It's not fun. So I'm going to wait. The black, the little white throats here were super cute and awesome, but they're not black throats. They don't get that big. I want a huge, tame, trained lizard that is the whole point of this make sure you leave a comment down below like it and turn on those notifications i appreciate every last one of you i'm super stoked on how fast this channel is growing i could not do any of this without you guys remember that so i appreciate it thank you guys so much thanks for watching guys All right. Bonus!
this video. Bonus footage. Cool. I figured since we're here, my brother needs some substrate and stuff for a couple of his cages that he has at his house. He's got um, my nephew has a bearded dragon and a little ball python. This is the underground reptiles retail store. So Ryan has his farm. This is what started it all. Before Ryan had underground reptiles, Ryan owned a business right across this plaza called a box of snakes. And it was an import export company. Then after that, he opened underground reptiles right over here where that nail depot is. Underground reptiles, the retail store was this tiny little store right there. That's where it all started. And then probably maybe like 12 years ago now, Ryan opened up this place, which is two doors down. This nail salon right here, this other one next to here, this used that used to be where everything at the farm is now. So all the other animals and stuff like that, um, everybody that works at the office and on the computers, they used to work right there. Now it's not there anymore. Ryan has built this huge farm next to his house, which is amazing. So cool to see people grow like that. So this is the store. Got all these cool setups here. They got a big sulfur monitor over here. Bunch of tegus, nudes, more tegus. Big Argentine red tegu here. Bearded dragons. What else we got? More beardies, blue tongues. We got a peach throat monitor. Green iguanas. Lots of supplies, filters, foggers, turtle food. You name it, underground's got it. If you guys live in South Florida, Local here, Hillsboro and Powerline in Deerfield. This is a great store. Substrate. So this, this corner right here, this is where all the venomous used to be. Before FWC made this law and made us change everything, this is where the venomous quarter used to be. So people would be able to come to the retail store, come check out the venomous section, and that was like an attraction that they had here. Now, unfortunately, we have to keep venomous at the farm. While I'm here, I'm actually gonna get some uh, some live rodents to feed to all the baby stuff at the house. We got some dinner. Yum. You're recording. All right. Feed thumb snake. All right. Let's do it here. So, feeding some snakes. Okay. Live, I'm gonna fresh kill them. Warning, if you're sensitive, don't watch, don't comment. Oh, you're blah, 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 you should feed them this, feed them this, blah, blah, kill them things, I don't know. Whatever, I don't wanna hear it, okay? If you don't like feeding, this is the end of the video. This is extra bonus footage that I've been giving to people who like feeding videos, okay? Because I like them, some people like them, not everybody likes them if you don't like them. See you later. Bye, guys. Don't watch this part. See you later. All right, people that do want to see it, let's do this. False Water Cobra is an absolute psychopath. Psycho. Get in your cage, please. Thank you. Crazy snake. That thing is a monster. It comes flying out of the cage every time. Super crazy. Now, the only reason why some of these little snakes, like I said before, some of these snakes I have to feed live. They will not eat them frozen thawed. Especially my rattlesnakes. My big rattlesnake has to bite it. That Eastern Diamondback, for some reason, dude, I've had that snake for four or five years now. It will not eat frozen thawed. It has to be fresh killed. Or I have to let him tag it live, wait for it to die, and then he eats it. It's the only way that snake will eat. Same thing with these, these little these little diamondbacks right here. These eastern diamondbacks, these little guys, these little albinos. I have to throw a live prey at them in there. They have to tag it themselves, and then they have to eat it afterwards. If I just throw a rat in here that's frozen, that's frozen thawed, they won't even touch it. They have to, I literally have to put the rat in, I have to let the snake tag it, and then I have to let it die, and then it eats it naturally, because that is how it happens in, the, in nature. Some snakes, you can get them used to frozen thoughts, some you can't. All right, so this cobra is crazy. Cobra is a psychopath.
cobra is a nut job. Is it natural to feed them live? But it's enrichment, obviously. So, like, if you have a parrot or something, you have to have parrot toys, and you have to enrich them and give them little little games and stuff and treats. It's enrichment. It's pretty much the same thing for cobras and snakes like that, and gators and stuff. Letting giving them act, giving a gator or a snake or something a natural prey item that is alive, and they have to actually hunt it and kill it. It's enrichment for them. That's what these guys are built to do. It's completely natural. Look, boom, now the rat's dead. He's about to eat it. Slurp that little thing up, that's that. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little photos. I hope you enjoyed the little bonus footage we got for you guys. Make sure you go follow my brother. I'm gonna put his link down here at the bottom again. We're opening a shop soon together. Stay tuned for that. Follow us both on Instagram. Yada, 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 I won't bore you anymore. Later.